so in this lecture i will explain what is a leakage reacting of single phase transformer so in the previous lecture we considered that primary winding and secondary winding has a resistance in this we will consider only reactants that is the leakage reactants so what is meant by leakage reactants how it is formed now i will tell you these two are the limbs this is a core type of transformer and a core type of transformer we want the winding like this this is a primary winding and uh, this one is secondary winding actually the limb size will be same the leakage reactance will be represented with the x1 and the secondary winding leakage reactance is x2 now what is meant by leakage reactance whenever we are giving a sinusoidal supply an alternating current is flowing through the coil this will produces an alternating flux in the transformer core this flux will be linking with the primary winding and secondary winding this due to this an emf is induced in a primary as well as the secondary winding a some part of the flux is passes through the air some part of the flux is passes through the air at limb 1 at limb 2 is also some part of the flux is passes through the air this flux is called the leakage flux the flux which links either primary winding or the secondary winding but not both the windings is called the primary uh, sorry leakage flux so here as this leakage flux is depends upon the load current as load current increases the leakage flux in the primary winding and secondary winding both are increases we can say that phi l1 is called the primary leakage flux primary side leakage flux and phi l2 is uh, secondary side leakage flux so here due to this leakage flux we know that inductance is equal to n into phi divided by i this is a inductance formula now the leakage inductance can be defined as n into phi l1 by i1 this is l1 l2 is n2 into phi l2 in divided by i2 so due to this we are having a reactance that is x1 2 pi f into l1 and x2 is 2 pi f into l2 so this is called the leakage reactance leakage reactance of the primary or leakage reactance of the primary this is a leakage reactance on secondary on secondary side so we know that from the previous lecture r01 is equal to r1 plus r2 dash that is r1 plus r2 by k square x01 is equal r02 is equal to r2 plus r1 dash that is r2 plus k square times of r1 
similarly due to this uh, leakage flux an emf is induced that leakage emf is el1 and here also the leakage emf is produced that is el2 if you draw the phasor diagram so this is v1 and magnetizing component of current the flux watt full component of current the resultant current is our no load current the angle between flux and induced emfs are 90 degrees so with aspect to e2 v2 is lagging at an angle of delta that's a small angle with for a lagging power factor of the load the i2 is lagging at an angle of phi2 there is a reflected coefficient on the primary side that is i2 dash by adding these two vectors by adding these two vectors then i got the resultant current that resultant current is called the pi1 now here due to this i1 leakage flux will be produced that leakage flux will be phi l1 due to i i2 the leakage flux phi l2 is produced if phi 2 increases i1 is also increases so with respect to phi l1 the emf will be induced the emf is induced that is 90 degrees with respect to flux this one is called the el1 is exactly 90 degrees to the i1 and uh, here also if you observe with respect to i phi l2 the e2 is 90 degrees this is called the el2 suppose if you observe the 100 percentage of the flux is present 5 percentage of the flux will be leaked so on primary side and secondary side only 90 percentage of the flux is present that is common for both the windings we can't say the flux which is common to the both the windings is called leakage flux it is a useful flux the flux which links either primary winding or the secondary winding but not both the windings is called the but not both the windings is called the leakage flux so uh, this you know that phi 1 and this is called the phi naught right okay so similarly x naught 1 is equal to x1 plus x2 dash e x1 plus x2 divided by k square and x naught 2 is equal to x2 plus x1 dash it is x2 plus k square times of x1 so the primary winding has a leakage reactance of x1 and the secondary winding has a leakage reactance is x2 The current which is flowing through this load is I2. The current drawn from the supply is I1. The supply voltage is V. If you want to shift this secondary winding leakage reactance to primary side, now it will become X2 dash. So now it will become X2 dash. So this is the same story what we have discussed in the previous lecture. So directly I am writing total reactance when referred to total leakage reactance. Total leakage reactance when referred to primary 
is equal to x1 plus x2 dash x1 plus x2 divided by k square suppose if a primary winding resistance sorry primary winding leakage reactance is shifted to secondary side that will becomes x1 dash so now it will be shifted right this is x2 dash uh, sorry x1 dash and x2 this is connected to the load the current which is flowing through is i2 this one is i1 the sign side voltage see the secondary winding leakage reactance is shifted to primary side that will becomes x2 dash if the primary winding leakage reactance is shifted to secondary side that will becomes x1 dash now the total leakage reactance total leakage reactance when referred to secondary is equal to x2 plus x1 dash x2 plus k square times of x1 if we are considering the resistance and leakage reactance of the primary winding so this is a uh, winding uh, resistance and leakage reactance uh, when referred when the winding is uh, that is called the primary this is r2 and x2 so this we can say that it is a z0 to total impedance this is z0 one impedance of the primary and impedance of the secondary so if all are shifted to a secondary side parameters are shifted to primary side r2 is becomes r2 dash and x2 becomes x2 dash x2 becomes x2 dash the current is i2 now the total resistance is r01 is r1 plus r2 dash and x01 is x1 plus x2 dash in this case Z01 is equal to R1 plus J times of X1 and Z02 is equal to R2 plus J times of X2 and the total impedance when referred to primary that is R01 plus J X01 if primary side parameters are shifted to secondary side the primary side parameters are shifted to secondary side so this is r1 dash leakage reactance is x1 dash and the resistance of the secondary is r2 leakage reactance is x2 this is i2 and i1 So R not two is equal to now R two plus R one dash total resistance will refer to secondary R two plus K square times of R one. The leakage reactance total leakage reactance will refer to secondary is X two plus X one dash. That is X two plus K square times of X one. X one. Then the impedance total impedance will refer to secondary. R not two plus J times of X not two. Once again, I am explaining what is mean by leakage reactance means. 
leakage flux. The flux which links either flux primary winding or the secondary winding, but not both the windings is called the leakage flux. This leakage flux is uh, depend on the load current. As the load current increases, the leakage flux uh, in the secondary winding increases. It will draw the additional current. The leakage flux in the primary winding is also increases. See, this flux, main field flux will depends upon the okay, maximum flux density. This main field flux which is independent of the load current uh, almost uh, small changes will be occurred due to this leakage flux. An EMF is induced that is called the EL1 that is exactly 90 degrees to the phi L1 and both I1 the primary current and leakage flux are both are is in same phase and with respect to phi L1 EL1 is uh, 90 degrees lagging. So phi L1 is called the primary leakage, primary side leakage flux this is called the secondary side leakage flux due to this we have an inductance L1 is equal to N1 into phi L1 I1 L2 is equal to N2 into phi L2 into I2 after that leakage reactance is formed uh, that is uh, of the primary end as well as the secondary so now the resistance are shifted from one side to another side we are al already derived total resistance when referred to primary is R1 plus R2 dash R1 plus R2 by K square total resistance when referred to secondary is R2 plus R1 dash that is R2 plus K square times of R1 and X01 is equal to X1 plus X2 dash similarly X1 plus X2 by K square and now I am shifting uh, the decay reactance from secondary to primary and primary to secondary then I got the relationship uh, X01 and uh, X02 that means uh, the total leakage reactance when referred to primary, the total leakage reactance when referred to secondary. In this, uh, we are considering the resistance and as well as the leakage reactance. Resistance and as well as the leakage reactance. After that, uh, Z01 is uh, impedance, uh, impedance, total impedance when referred to primary. Z02 is the total impedance when referred to secondary. So Z02 here Z02 is equal to R02 plus JX02. R01 is equal to you know the formula and Z01 is equal to R01 plus JX01.